All right, so what's up guys? So today I'm gonna show you guys my aviary. Um, sorry, I haven't been really active on YouTube, but this is my aviary. Uh, I built it about a year ago and it has, um, it's eight, it's 10 feet by five feet by six foot tall. And right now, currently I have 12 birds and uh, six pairs in there and about seven babies. And let me show you inside. So on the inside, as you can see, I have a little tray here for a cuddle bone. It's very important for calcium and their eggs. Um, this little tray, I give them their egg food. And they have a, I have seven nest boxes right now. You always wanna have one extra nest box for the amount of pairs you have. So since I have six pairs, I wanna have seven nest boxes. Um, and this is their setup. Let me show you one of the nest boxes. So if you take a look, we got seven eggs in there. We got about 27 birds right now, nine babies. There's parents. There's the babies. Take a look in here. There's some babies. Take a look in there. So what they use for the nest is um palm, palm leaves. The Mexican palm leaves are the best palms to put in here. You just hang it, hang it on the side just like this. They tear it up and build their nests. And it usually takes them about a month to build their nests, but they're good. Um, and all this right here is just weeds. This is called canola seed. I just grow it and from their nest, from their seeds. And then they just eat it, they love it. This is buckwheat from their seed. I just grow it. This is oats. I grow it, I put it, um, let it grow and it comes out and put, just pull it off and they love to eat that. And so this is what it looks like. Like I said, I have about 27 birds in here right now, counting babies, adults, juveniles, and it all started with six pairs. And so seven, seven nest boxes is what you need to start breeding. If you have six pairs, always have one extra. So this is a Mexican palm, and the reason I like to use this um, is because it, it's big and um, the lovebirds seem to enjoy this palm more than others. Um, just because there's so much of it and they can really fill up their nest boxes all the way to the top. Um, you can use any palm you like, but uh, in reality, this one's the one that I seem to have more success with just because the lovebirds, what they do is tear up that palm and they fill up the nest box. Um, they fill it up high all the way to the top and then they start digging burrows and um, dens uh, and that's where they're going to lay their eggs so that they feel protected. Um, this is how I like to hang them. I like to hang one on each side of the aviary just because that prevents them from fighting over palm and also allows them to have a lot of it readily available for them to build their nest boxes, especially in the springtime and in the fall time when it is the prime conditions for breeding. So when you're breeding lovers, it's very important to have a big space for them, especially when you're colony breeding. And you wanna make sure you always have one extra male and you have females. So I have, um, 12, 12 adults and so I have I have th well 13 adults so uh, 6 pairs and 1 extra male and so when you're colony breeding it's, it's especially important to have 1 extra nest box and so I have 6 pairs so I have 7 nest boxes I might add one more and so we want to make sure you have a lot of food I need to fill this up right now but a lot of food available to them um, a lot of greens I put a lot of broccoli a lot of celery um that's very good for them, AIDS reproduction. Um, you wanna make sure you have health grit. So health grit is a mixture of minerals. And so what those minerals are is they, they help digestion and help babies. Um, make sure they have enough digestion um, to feed all their babies and have proper nutrition. I also give them a lot of cuddle bone. 
So they have two pieces and they go through this pretty quickly if they have this many birds. So this right here, they'll go through those two about in four months. I also give them egg food very often. On my channel, you've already seen how you make the egg food. And I just keep a little water right there. Um, so I fill that up every um, four or five days and that's perfect for them. Um, other than that, you wanna make sure you don't, you wanna make sure with lovebirds you keep the same species together. So don't mix fishers and black mask. You can only mix blue mask and black mask and that will ensure that they, you don't have hybrids because the hybrids will um, not be fertile and they also fight. Um, so make sure you just keep black mask with blue mask. Lovebirds will also chew a lot. So if you see the wood right here, it's all chewed up, all chewed up. So I, I add some extra wood on the sides just have to just stop the chewing a little bit um but they will they're always going to chew um and on the top of the aviary i have half of it that's covered so half of it is covered by um wood and they have a sheet of metal up there and half of it is not covered so when it's raining they get a little bit of rain i also want to make sure you have um plenty of perches so you see right there you have one perch going across right there we have a long natural perch and if I come over on this side, you have two extra perches, one right there with their uh, other fruits and veggies and egg food. But yeah, this is a basic setup for breeding. Um, I've had very much success and it takes about seven, eight months for them to get uh, accustomed to the new environment, but the will stop breeding fast. So here we see typical behavior in an aviary. Um, where we are setting up breeding colonies. Uh, what we see is that if you mix a bunch of lovebirds together, what will happen is that after a few weeks of them being living together, they will choose their mates. And so you can't really force them choosing uh, who they mate with to get specific colors because they will find someone they like and they will bond with them. And typically after about two weeks, you will start seeing these behaviors um, like feeding, um, eating together, uh, nesting together, building the nest together. And after about two to three months, maybe even less, they'll start mating. And so the matings typically happen about three to four times. And after they mate for the last time, they will lay an egg. And after two days, they'll lay another egg. And after two days, another egg and so on. Every They can lay eggs either from three eggs or seven eggs, the clutches. Um, they vary depending on the bird and my theory is the more calcium you give them the more eggs they'll lay and so that's why i give them a lot of cuddle bone and a lot of extra calcium and their vitamins so as you can see they love the greens they love the greens they just tear it up and chew at it look at that look at that they just chew it up tear it up eat half of it and half of it they'll actually put in their nests so greens are really good for them i'm about to give them some health grit it has a picture of little rocks iodine calcium, charcoal, greens, uh, avia, calcium, um, and vitamins, and some some spray melon. Spray melon is very important. It's very high in protein, and um, the lovebirds and every bird needs it, especially babies. Um, when they're growing up, they're getting color, they're growing, they're getting a little bit um, bigger. It's very high in So like I mentioned, spray melon is very important. It's the first seed they ever learn how to crack in the wild, um, and that's what enables them to grow so quickly. If you see, um, Babies will typically grow and be full adults and be eating on their own in about a month and a half. And just here are a couple of behaviors that we see normally when they start feeding each other before um, they lay the ba their eggs and after the baby is born, they will actually feed the baby.